Item 17 is our Woodman Center update. Public Works Director Mike Payne is here. Good evening, Council. Mike Payne, Public Works Director. So I wanted to look ahead short term here and provide you an update and then I'm going to look a little longer term and then we've got uh, a member of the Friends Group with us uh, to finalize uh, a few last slides. So Jets lease, what are we looking at here in the next week or so? We're, we're looking at uh, continuing discussions with the Jets organization. Uh, Jennifer Petrozello is leading the, uh, this discussion from the staff perspective with a meeting that's currently scheduled for later this week on May 24. Also later this week we have uh, discussions scheduled with the interiors designers for the project. So we're going to be talking more about colors and textures and products inside the facility along with the FF&E, the furniture, furnishings and equipment that will go inside of the facility that would uh, support the use of the facility but not be included in the construction contract itself. So that's scheduled for May 25th. We do expect to receive a full 90% uh, set of completed plans by May 30th and uh, I, I'm told that uh, at this point we are getting very close to 300 sheets in the, in the plan document so it's a large plan set, a lot of details. And then uh, final commitments on that 90% set of plans. We've got about two weeks. We're looking to reach back out to the design committee and uh, offer that up to them. Uh, the document itself can, uh, can be made available to the public. And uh, after two weeks of reviewing that, we expect to re provide review comments back to the design team. And our deadline there is June 9th. Next steps looking a little bit longer term. In ju uh, July, we expect to close on the property and issue the bid documents to contractors. In August, we plan to open bids. In September, the council would consider award of a construction contract to the uh, low bidder. And then uh, if all goes well in October, we would expect a contractor to mobilize and, and commence with uh, demolition of the vacant Sears building. At this time, I would like to uh, bring up Sabrina Syker Bowerman, who is a friend's project manager, and she's got the last three slides to, to update for us. Thank you to the Janesville City Council and the Janesville City partners, including Mike and Jennifer. Um, they've been amazing collaborative, collaborative partners with the Friends of the Woodman Center. Um, so thank you for offer, offering this time for me to provide an update today. Um, as Mike mentioned, I'm Sabrina Syker Bowerman, project manager for the Friends of the Woodman Center. Um, and uh, I work very closely with the uh, volunteers of the, of the Friends and then also stakeholders on outreach and private fundraising efforts. Um, tonight's update will include feedback from, ongo from our Friends ongoing social media campaign, You Ask, Friends Answer, um, and also our summer outreach initiatives and private fundraising update. Um, over the last 10 months, one priority focus has been fostering a two-way com communication with the Janesville community through listening and collecting feedback. Um, so for our recent outreach with You Ask, Friends Answer, it's our social media campaign. Um, that's one way that we've been successful in having that two-way communication with the community. Uh, so most recently, the campaign has revealed trending themes and top topics of interest from participants, including user group interests, how will the facility meet the needs and expectations of the, of the valued users and community members, and also project timeline, how can we continue to keep all informed about the process as we approach important project milestones. Uh, we've been able to provide uh, those responses and the questions to share them with our partners at the city. And uh, if the city council has any questions that they would like the friends to include in our You Ask Friends answer, uh, we, we would be happy to do so. Um, so information sharing. Uh, the friends welcome community partners to be featured in our blog posts, lever leveraging experts for their valuable project uh, insights. Uh, thank you to Jennifer for her recent feature and also Jim Z. Uh, Kilborn as a guest blogger who discussed the economic impact of the Woodman Center. Um, if, this, if any city council members would like to be featured, we'd be happy to accommodate them. Um, we also launched a revamped FAQ on our website, woodmancenter.com. Uh, serving as a centralized hub for fr frequently asked questions and informative responses, also complementing the city's uh, updates and FAQ on the, on the city's website. 
Uh, fundraising is going really well. The friends are confident that we'll be able to reach our fundraising goal of $9 million. Uh, we continue to connect with local businesses and donors. And uh, if you or someone you know are interested in donating, please visit our website, woodmancenter.com, and reach out to us. Um, tonight, I'd like to share my appreciation to all donors, especially to Prent, GoX, and the Prejant family, uh, who generously pledged $250,000 to support the project. Uh, that completes tonight's update. Thank you once again to the Janesville City Council and partners for welcoming the friends. Uh, together, we know we can address our community needs and look forward to continued collaboration on this project. I think I might have missed the slide. It's okay. All right. Does the council have any questions for either myself or Sabrina? Any questions? I don't see any. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina.